Uh, River State Governor Similayu Fubara has reiterated that he will not be distracted despite the current challenges in the state. Fubara said this while briefing reporters in Ngota, on the capital of Andoni local government area, shortly after inspecting the entire stretch of Andoni section of Ngoni, Andoni Okobo Unity Road. Governance is about protection of life and property. These lives and property include pro providing quality services. And one of those things are like this road. You can see that when we came for campaign, if you did remember, it was horrible. But today we could drive as if we were in Dubai, <laughs> in Andoni. So we'll continue to do our best for our people, not minding the, the challenges we are facing. The most important thing is uh, we have taken our oath to defend our people, protect their interests, and we're not going back on that. Posterity has just blessed me with this project. Something that they couldn't achieve for over 20 something years. That within the space of six months, I've been able to sort it out. What else are you looking for? However, partisan political imbroglio in River State commenced moves to end the crisis with River State Commissioner for Information and Communication. Joseph Johnson saying that Governor Similaya Fubara would implement the agreements brokered by President Bola Tinubu at the presidential villa Abuja. But in the meantime, Honorable Chisum Kenneth Bali, the Commissioner for Youth and River State, who denied the reports that he had resigned his appointment as the Commissioner for Youth of the State, continues to call on River's people to stand with Governor Sim Fubara and maintain the prevalent peace in the state. So joining us now to take a look at Similaya Fubara's long walk to peaceful resolution of the crisis, Rocky River State is Honorable Chisholm Kenneth Bally, uh, River State Commissioner for Youth Development. Uh, pleasure to have you, uh, Chisholm Bally. Chisholm Bally, uh, on what side are you? Thank you. On whose mandate are you standing? And uh, what's your take about the... Well, the uh, let me finish before you answer. I know you can, I can see a smile on your face. Uh, what's your take about the signing of sort of like a debt warrant of the governor uh, by the governor and the state of play in River State. They say they've been able to bully Governor Fubara. And your voice might not be loud enough because even some of the commissioners that did resign might decide to want to come back or accept Governor Fubara is not going to follow that agreement, which we hear that he was pretty much bullied to sign. So on whose mandate are you standing? Well, good morning, Nigerians. Uh, good morning, Rufai. Um, compliment of the season. Bless you, Merry First, Christmas. Let me thank you for this opportunity of having me on set. Uh, basically, uh, is to rewrite uh, the narrative that uh, your people had shown me. I was brandished to have resigned. And um, I went on air to refute and also called. I even threatened litigation against your brand. But because your brand is one that we relish so much, uh, and people talk to me, I had to say, okay, let me soft pedal. So thank you for giving me this opportunity to allay the fears of reverse youth. First, uh, you said, where am I? I'm totally, if you see what I'm putting on, I'm a commissioner for youth development, and I think I am really a youth. If you look at me, I'm a practicable, practicing youth, and that is the kind of government, Sassim Nialai Fubara, GSSRS, Governor of River State, the Moses of our time, the David, you know, Rafai, uh, to get it right, you can't continue doing the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. And when you want to shift from the existing, from the subsisting um, um, paradigm, it's always difficult. Hence the saying by um, um, some uh, wise people that, Freedom is never freely given by the oppressor. It has to be demanded by the oppressed. So Simi Alayo Fubara is like that person who wants to change the subsisting uh, way of doing things, the business as usual. Yeah, so we, we have realized, and that is what Rivers should bargain. That is what the people of Rivers, that's why you see we are all totally for him, and we are all in one side. That's why you're not seeing any clash or conflict or confrontation in all of this because the entire people are for the governor. You get, so I am totally, I went around the 23 local government like what you showed in your clip 
conversing, talking to reverse you that this is a paradigm shift from the existing to a newer um, innovation to, to, to bring them to speed, to bring them to the same wavelength with what people from other climb are into. People have moved to space and we, we are here dilly-dallying, um, talking about politics instead of meeting up with trending um, things in, across the globe. So I'm a commissioner for youth, I'm preaching for peace, I'm towing to the line of peace which the governor is professing and the governor um, is someone that is soft-spoken and it is a meticulous speaker. He doesn't talk much, but he's, he's, he's a very active, very active governor. And so the River State is, there's a relative, there's a rising tide of peace and still waters of prosperity um, because the entire people are for um, the governor. All right. All right, thank you very much, Honorable Bali. I hear you when you say that um, we want peace. Everybody wants peace. We want peace in River State. We want peace in Ondo State, peace in Kano, peace everywhere in Nigeria. However, there's peace and there's peace. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I say this because while you say that everyone is supporting the governor, it doesn't seem like the Elders Forum are part of the everyone you are considering. Because shortly after that resolution was released, they had also released their own communique condemning the details of the, of the communique. So they are not quite happy. Our correspondent on ground, Andy Omano Mano, also had mentioned that it almost seemed like the peace of the graveyard or the silence of the graveyard in River State. So perhaps you might not be feeling the pulse of the people, especially the Elders Forum, when you say that they're quite happy with what's going on at the moment. The second question I'd like to ask you is this. What is the feeling of the, of the commissioners who didn't resign with one of the resolutions of the meeting at Aso Villa stating that the commissioners who resigned or and officers who resigned their positions should be, be absorbed into the cabinet? It almost sounds like the story of the prodigal son. And then the first son saying, well, I've been here faithful, serving you, loyal to Governor Sim Fubara. And yet these ones who decided to throw in the towel when the going was rough are now being welcomed back with you know, arms open. Is there any Ill, are there any feelings, ill feelings amongst the other commissioners? How is this being ex um, received by the other commissioners in the state, including yourself, since you say that you didn't resign? Well, I think um, what is happening in reverse, it, let me start from your last question, is a different thing altogether. <coughs> I guess the backdrop of uh, the story about the prodigal son, in reverse, it, the commissioners who are still working, they are very happy. And just last night, we were gifted with our official vehicles. So we are celebrated. We are like heroes because we are professing what is right. We are upholding what we voted for and it, we are not regretting. So even if our colleagues who passed, or who, who are former now, even if they come on board tomorrow, we are not going to discriminate them. But again, they will know if you have integrity, if you truly have integrity, they will know that the ground has drifted beneath their feet. They are no longer in the same wavelength with us. So if you have integrity, you won't even want to come back, even if the president has said come back. Then the second one you're talking about, the elders, yes. Um, we were, I would say that we were actually on a confined space. I was part of the delegation with the governor and that uh, presidential, it was supposed to be a deliberation, an interactive section, as is it were, but it turned out to be a different thing. But again, what we are saying is the governor has made his commitment, but it has to be subjected to legal practice or uh, the constitution of the Federal Republic, which is a grand norm. So anything that is outlined in that um, um, Mr. Presidential or Mr. President Directive that is not in, in tandem with the Constitution of Federal Republic, of course, it will not hold water. You know that. Like the issue of uh, the 27 that, uh, that uh, resigned their membership in the PDP. Of, it's not the governor that will decide that. That is subject to litigation. It's already ongoing. And the National Working Committee of the party is on it. So, and I hear, I know that there is a subsisting judgment and you know the judgment of the Supreme Court is a law. There's a subsisting judgment that people vacated their seats. So it's not the governor that will decide that. So they are on it. And whatever the law says is what even our, um, um, the current, um, um, what do they call it, Electoral Act, is stated clearly. So 
I'm not a legal practitioner, but those things I think a layman can even say that these people are gone. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. So trying to make amends or trying to cut corner to see how you can have a soft landing is, is an aberration for me. So the elders were actually talking about um, why the governor signed. Of course, will you bolt out of a president, a command, grand commander of the Federal Republic? No. But what we will do is, of course, the governor is professing peace. And afterwards, they will correlate it with, with, the, with the law of the land. Anyone that is an aberration or is a, a, a dissonance with the, 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 the Constitution of the Federal Republic of not hold water. So this is where we are. And those who understand will know that Amo Pusene was Minalai Fubara, uh, uh, governor of River State, is a man of peace. And that is why we, me particularly, have not spoken um, in a way that youth will begin to be restive. I've always called them that we must learn, uh, a wise man said that we must learn to live together as brothers and sisters or we perish together as fools. So if we start being uh, restive, if we take this into the other level, all of us, we are stakeholders here, we will lose. So what is happening is that those outlines, they must be correlated with the, the laws of the land. Anyone that is in aberration or in a divergent view will not subsist. That's, that's what is it. Okay. I'd like to ask you a very honest question. And please, you can answer me honestly if you hear me on this. Do you think peace has returned to River State or you still think there's still a lot of struggle ahead? Do you think peace has well, returned? Well, it's not... Uh, it, it, or you it's think not a walk in the park. Yes. It's not going to be... It's, it's a process. It's a process, even in your own, in our family, when you and, have and this the, and the second, with your And the wife second question I want to ask, the second question I want to ask you is this. Has the wiki faction reached out to you? Because I hear there's a lot of horse trading going on now. Is that you're for Fubara or you're for Sim? I mean, either you're for Fubara or you're for wiki. As anybody from the other faction, because you guys used to be one big happy family before, reached out to you to bring you to their side. Has that happened? Well, well Rufai, uh, like you said, we are all one big family. And uh, these this, uh, uh, issues, you know, playing out will eventually want to distort what is being, or what is known. But again, there is nobody, there is nobody in the cabinet that would not have been reached out to. We've all been, you know, asked to, in one way or the other, to throw in the towel. But to ask to do what? No. What, what do you mean by reverse? What do you mean by throwing the towel? To throw in the towel. Throw to support to, Wiki to, to, against to Fubara. To out. To back off from the government. Okay. Yes, that is yes. They we've reached, been reached out to in one way or the other. But if you if you are somebody that like we are youths. We are looking at the future. We want to change things. We have been complaining of our, our, our successive administrations or our leaders. How do you change the narrative? Is it by playing the same thing? Will you continue, like I stated earlier, doing the same thing and expect a different result? Our own youth now should be talking about how to uphold the truth, integrity, to see, attract prosperity, attract development, attract um, um, innovations. So, all of us will be reached out, but if you, if somebody, if you mean well for yourself and for your, for your future, it's not even about the governor. If you mean well for yourself, okay. you know that this governor has done nothing and means so well for, for the people okay. of River State. Uh, uh, See the workers, Honorable the workers Bali. everywhere, they are jumping in a little... Uh, uh, Bali. Yes. Honorable Bali, I'd like to ask you this. I wanted you to give me a little time to buttress. No, 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 you will buttress. But I want to ask you this. It's a very critical question, very important question. But you were a beneficiary of Governor Wiki's godfatherism. You couldn't have become commissioner if the Wiki same ticket had not come in. Why are you now talking about the future for young people when you are a beneficiary of this same godfatherism? You are a beneficiary because you came in because Governor Fubara's ticket came in because of the role Mr. Wiki played. So why is it that all of a sudden you are thinking of liberation and you are saying for the youth and all of that? 
when it was Mr. Wiki that did this work. Clarify that for me, please. What has changed? Well, I'll tell, I'll tell you clearly. Clearly that I, I will still relish, we still appreciate the works, the commitment of our leaders, especially the former governor. We still, we still, we, we, I don't vilify them in my nature. I, I will uphold them in a high extent. We still relish them. They have done their part. They have done well on infrastructure and all of those. They've done well. But the cross of the matter is that we must, no matter how good you are on stage, like uh, our performing arts, no matter how wonderful, you must leave the stage. There's always a time for you to, it, life is a natural succession. You must have successors. And in this case, you have beautiful successor and wonderful brains. You have mustard but wonderful brains. What you need to do is to be on the advisory seat and allow them to spearhead the ship. That is just what we are talking about. It, we are not against our leaders. I benefited, I was a caretaker chairman under uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Governor Nye Somese Wawiki. Until tomorrow, we appreciate the wonderful works he has done. And we are not, but we are your successor. Even your child, if you make your child a CEO of your firm, you allow the child to spearhead, to steer the ship. That is all just the cross of the matter in all of this. Like uh, the former governor, Dr. Peter Dilley said, is a need, needless um, 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 issues or crisis. It's not supposed to have a shoot from the onset. So these are the things that we are saying. That we, for instance, I have served this PDP for over 13 years. I have my own boss. And my boss works directly with the, 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 the former governor. And, you know, we have learned from them. Like the Igbo people would do the apprenticeship in trading. We have learned from them. And we now know the, the, the basics about politics, governance, and uh, uh, governance is, is not even... So, so if, even if, if, if Wike is your it's, hero, why don't you stand with Wike? Why are you standing with Fubara? If with all you said, why Wike I, is your no, hero, no, no, no. why no. don't you stand with Wike? Uh, Rufai, 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 just... No, I can't stand... We, I said we are successors. We are your successor. So, I, we are so not. You, we appreciate what you have done. So you can't stand with you Wiki. You have handed over to us. So no, you, not at all. You can't not stand at with all. I, I, in, in this case, there's no. Let me tell you, there's no victor, no vanquish. Like what we are professing now is peace. So uh, telling me standing with Wiki or not doesn't hold water. But against that backdrop, I stand with. I'm opposing the Muslim life for the governor because we are the new world. We are the current. We are the new generation. And we cannot. I'm over 40. I am over 40. How long will I serve? Oh. I have been serving for over 13 years since 2011 or 2012. Oh. So apparently, we have acquired the basics and we are ready to lead. And if you look at us, just interview every one of us commissioners. We are young, but we have a little of, of what it takes. We embody that spirit of service. All so, right. this is what we are talking about. Honorable you have trained people. Allow the people to, 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 to take the lead. Honorable Bali, thank you so much for stating the fact that you're young and the fact that you're the Commissioner for Youth Development in, in River State says a lot. Because what is being said is that the youth are the future of the states, not just of Nigeria. And so, if we're going to move away from politics, as it is, which with as many flaws, democracy it is, then young people must be willing to do things differently. On that note, I'd like to get your take on Godfatherism. Because this has been perhaps one of the key challenges in the, you know, in the conflict in River State. Do you think that it is, you know, it is okay for your governor to have a godfather in the person of um, former Governor Wiki. And then that statement that former Governor Wiki made with regards to ladder, the ladder that put him there, not taking away the ladder, what do you make of that kind of statement? And how do we move to perhaps a more progressive style of democracy by doing away where possible with this hold of godfathers on their godsons such that the godsons do not have the power to do much in the state, and they're just proxies in terms of leadership. Okay, I would like to say clearly that um, a wise man, I think Napoleon Hill, once said 
that the world suffers a lot, not because of the violence of the bad people, but because of the silence of the good people. And Martin Luther King said something. He said that the, the worst place in hell is reserved for those who remain neutral when issues of moral conflict are discussed. Our people, the, the, we, the youth, we, we, we cannot metamorphose from the blues. You must pass through the ranks. You must learn. Like I re uh, reference apprenticeship, you must learn. But again, it's not for you to be held down, for your future to be mortgaged. No, it's against uh, best practices and international standards. But in the process of learning, you learn even when your boss is making a mistake, you try to contribute, you try to advise. And if it's not uh, uh, holding water, you, you keep on learning until the opportunity will be given to you one day. But power is not given, power is earned. So everybody pass through a ladder. Talking about a ladder, removing a ladder. Everybody pass through a ladder. Even the former governor, you heard uh, a former lawmaker say, Evans BP saying that he, he took His Excellency uh, Nyesho Wike to the, former, uh, the wife of the former president. It's a natural law. You must pass through somebody. Life is, like, is a ladder. You can't just wake up and then you, you, you metamorphose into, into whatever you become. It's, it's, you take it one step at a time. And that is why we, we decided to carefully, keenly, determined to learn from this our our leaders because they they were doing well and they've done well so our owner is to take it to another milestone to make it better than what we met so i, I issue of ladder is everybody if president jonathan passed through uh obasanjo uh Alamesia and all of those so do all you, of so, everybody so do you think ladder. so are you so, saying very quickly because we need to go are you saying that governor fubara did take away the ladder that puts him up there in the house in the in River State. Not at all. If you watch, Governor Fuba is still professing consolidation and continuity, and that is the mantra with which this the formation of this our administration. He has not taken it away. Governor Fuba, almost everybody working now are still from the former administration. I can tell you that. Just forget about the nine commissioners. What of uh, all these other parastatas? They all came from the past administration. And he has not one day said, you, uh, go and resign. Or you, I want to fire you or relieve you of your job. No. You understand? Because he rose from the ranks. Governor Fubara is so intelligent. You, I can tell you that. That right. guy is exceptional. Right. And that is why God brought him at this time. All right. So thank yes. you. We need to go now. So just mention that, just to clarify, the, the ladder is firmly in place. No ladder taken away. Thank you so much, Honorable, for yeah. joining us this morning.